So guys, I'm here to do this tour Q&A that I promised to do a couple days ago and now it's it's been five days and I haven't done it yet. So I'm doing it right now. You know, it's been a while since I've actually talked to you guys. So excited to update you guys on a lot of things. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get to these questions. I'm not gonna do all of them. Sorry if I didn't get to your question, but I'm here and I'm doing it. Okay, first question. Where are you living at the moment? I'm actually living in Nashville. That's a lie. I'm actually here for a couple of weeks, actually for a writing trip. Thanks 19, shout out to 19, shout out to Alyssa. But I'm currently living in Los Angeles, California. Um, yeah, been living there for six months. Moved in in January on my birthday, January 10. And it's been fun. It was pretty lonely the first couple of months because of COVID, but it's been fun. Sometimes I feel like I don't belong there which is kind of true. I feel like that's how all, all artists feel when, when they move out there. I don't know. I feel like LA has a lot of pros and cons. The pros for me are, I got to move out of my house. Um, I was living in Vegas during the pandemic, as you guys know, freeloading off my brother, just being kind of an annoying little shit, but to him at least, cause I was just creating music um, day in, day out, annoying the fuck out of him with all the demos I was making, but I wanted to get signed and I did. So I'm here in Nashville. I'm in a beautiful Airbnb. I'm here for two and a half weeks. Just gonna be writing, producing music, meeting new people, expanding, exploring, feeling all the anxious nerves creep in every time I have a coffee with somebody, somebody new. It's gonna be great. Really exercising my social skills. I'll show you a tour of the Airbnb uh, right now. Are you excited for your tour? Yeah, I am excited for my tour because it's been a long time coming for me. You know, I got signed a year, almost a year ago back in August and obviously with the pandemic and all that shit, um, I didn't get to do a lot of what I thought I was gonna do. My expectations of what it was to be an artist, a signed artist and to make all this music, move to LA, meet all these new people weren't met. It kind of sucked. I fell into like a really dark, dark feeling. Now that things are opening back up slowly and the vaccines are out, it feels like we're, we're getting back into normal life kind of slowly but surely and it's fun. I get to meet new people, work with writers in the room, produce with other producers in the room, see you guys while I'm on tour, you know, I'm really excited. This is gonna be fun. All right, next song. I mean, next song. Next question is what I meant to say. When did you bleach your hair? I kind of just wanted something different. And I also got this, this, this other, I don't know if you can see it, this other tattoo of a cross on my wrist. Um, yeah, so a lot of just different things that I that I tried. I mean, I planned this one, this tattoo, like a year ago, so then I got it. So this was technically my first tattoo, and this was my second. Now I'm just a new person, going through a little mini identity crisis. I see a lot of questions asking if I'm gonna come to a certain city like Boston, Portland. The funny thing about that is, the more tickets we sell for this tour, the more venues we get to collect and more cities we get to go to so make sure you buy your tickets for this tour and maybe i can come to your city and i can see you and we could have a good time um i want to see you guys in person it's gonna be really exciting all right next question how tall are you i'm five foot eleven i'm not short but i'm not tall but i hate being stuck in the middle sometimes i'm insecure about my height because most of my friends are like about the same height as me or shorter. And then a portion of my friends are taller than me, like over six foot. Um, like Louis, for example, is six one. And every time I'm next to him, I feel like a small dude. And like, it sucks. I'm five foot 11 and I probably will stay five foot 11 for the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that. I'm not mad, I'm not butthurt. It's fine. I don't care. What gives you inspiration? Uh, listening to new music, you know? Like listening to like a lot of different fucking music and just getting inspired. Like I'm here in Nashville and I've been working with 
people who mainly work in country and like I've been listening to a lot of country music talking about different types of country music. The beautiful thing about country music is nowadays is that there's different subsets of the genre. There's pop country, there's bro country, there's traditional country, and that's beautiful. Like I think that's really inspiring. Like you can take a genre and make your own subgenre of that. When are you gonna release that song Hunter Mets that you posted? Uh can't wait to hear. Thanks. Um it's a great song. I think we, we haven't even finished it actually. We only have that little part that I posted. Um it was uh I was in Nashville a couple weeks ago. I'm in Nashville right now, but I was in Nashville a couple weeks ago and I went over to his house, Hunter's house, and like we just like around like six PM I had a write I had a writing session beforehand and I just went over to write and then we started something, we started that little piece of music and then afterwards like we kinda just hung out. He invited his friend over and we kinda just relaxed and like chilled the rest of the night, you know? It was a great experience. I had a great time um, hanging out with Hunter. Um, he's a great dude. Are you into cougars? No, I'm not into cougars. I like, I think I'm more into like lions. Lions are great. Are you fluent in Tagalog? No, I'm not fluent in Tagalog. I can speak a little bit. I can understand a little bit, but I'm not fluent. Can I take you out after your show in San Antonio? I'd love that. Let's. Let's shoot for like 11 p.m. When was the last time you felt incredibly vulnerable? You know, when I was sitting there 15 minutes ago, eating ice cream, watching the Joker, contemplating life. Yeah. How long will each show be? I don't know. You have to, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go to the show to know, you know? Buy some tickets. Support your boy. I'm kidding. Um, 45 to 60 minutes. What type of girls do you prefer? Nice girls. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sending in those questions and for making my, what's it, what is it today? For making my Monday night really, really, really eventful. Appreciate that. Make sure you buy tickets for the Beautiful Ramblings tour. Remember, the more tickets we sell, the more cities I can go to. So keep that in mind, buy your tickets and do yourself a bigger solid and get yourself VIP tickets. And do yourself an even bigger solid and buy my merch on franciscamartin.org. Yeah, all right, bye.